The White Wine is the focus this weekend in Traverse City. The Night of 100 Rieslings event will feature a screening of global Riesling champion Stuart Pickett's new film at Bijou by the Bay. There will also be wine tastings and a farm to table dinner. But we're going to let our guests, Sean O'Keefe and Amanda Danielson, tell us all about it. Sean, Amanda, thanks so much for coming. This is really a, uh, it's a first time event. Yes. But it's a pretty amazing event. Tell our viewers about it. Well, it's unique in that it's mm -hmm. put together to actually honor all aspects of the wine industry, not just um, what ends up in the bottle or the glass by the end user, but also every bit of the industry that comes together. The idea is to, to showcase Michigan Riesling okay. in a global context while featuring the wines from all over the Riesling producing world. And, and Rieslings are produced all over the world. How are Michigan's Rieslings? I think they rank right up there. That's why we're bringing everybody into town to kind of announce to everybody that we are there and we're at, at I would say the equal of some of the best regions in the world. And, and when you bring, when wine enthusiasts travel to northern Michigan, do they comment on that? Absolutely. They do, and I think that, you know, it's different. You have two kinds of wine enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. You have people who like wine, they visit the trails, they enjoy whatever the tasting room provides. Right. And then you have people that have sort of what we call achieve the levels of wine geekery. And they're wine traveling geekery. to ah. really learn <laughs> right. a lot about Riesling and, or wine in general from all over the place. And Michigan provides something for both of those types of wine consumer. And, and will this event, you know, sometimes uh, for those that do not have wine geekery flowing <laughs> through their blood, we can be intimidated when we think, oh, this may be beyond my palate. Is this that type of event? Not at all. Okay. This is the most accessible event you can imagine. You know, both of us in our respective fields, being a winemaker and a sommelier, mm -hmm. We've dedicated a lot of our careers and our lives to the education and really to the accessibility. Wine is fun. At the end of the day, it's supposed to be fun and it's absolutely inclusive. There's nothing exclusive about wine and this event is really designed to bring that message to everybody who might participate. Now, uh, so but not everybody will be new to wine. There's a very special guest, Stuart Piggott, who's going to be here. Stuart, tell us a little bit about who Stuart is if we're not familiar with him. Stuart is, uh, He's kind of, a, I wouldn't say a Riesling evangelist, but it comes pretty close. Okay. I mean, he's uh, been a proponent of, of this grape variety that's been neglected least or not as famous as it should be here in the United States. And he's been uh, dedicated his career basically to bring, you know, showing off what's possible in different parts of the world. What I like about him is, as opposed to some of the usual um, authorities, he's always looking out for what's new or what's interesting and people working really hard as opposed to what is just a common lore of like this is a good region or this right. is all right. So Michigan is right up his alley because it's so we're on the edge of the, the North American continent. Uh, we're growing uh, wines that he absolutely loves. So this is probably his what sixth visit here. Wow. Yeah. The years I've known him. At yeah. Least. Well, that that is that is exciting to have that kind of supporter for our industry up here. All right, tell us a little bit about the event. If someone goes to the event, what can they experience? Well, the first thing they're going to experience is a glass of sparkling dry Riesling from okay. Shady Lane Cellars in Leland Up Peninsula, which is okay. great. Introduced by the winemaker and then introduced by Stewart, his short film, which he produced while writing and researching his latest book, Best White Wine on Earth. Wow. Um, and that's, it's a short film, 50 minutes or so. And then guests from there will be escorted to the Riesling Pavilion. And there's a lot to expect there. There's the Bar of 100 Rieslings, which Sean can talk about in a moment. Okay. There's uh, merchandise opportunities. We've staffed the event. All of our volunteers aren't the usual suspects. These are sommeliers, actual sommelier, high-level service professionals that can speak about all 100 Rieslings that are being served there with authority. Um, and again, going back to that accessibility, make them accessible to everybody who participates. So, Sean, a, a hundred Rieslings. There will be a hundred Rieslings there? Yep, we are, we've been working furiously to get a uh, hundred <laughs> Rieslings on that list and still working on it. The uh, special thing, though, is we have winemakers coming in from the, around the continent from uh, Napa Valley, which you wouldn't think Riesling comes from there, but some beautiful Riesling from Smith Padrone. We got winemakers from the Willamette Valley, from Brooks, uh, from Ontario and Cave Spring, and from Constantine Frank in, in uh, Finger Lakes all coming here to present their wines. So. We are excited to invite him to our town and show off what we're doing here. That is very exciting. Your admission includes a full glass of sparkling Riesling along with 13 one ounce tasting tickets so you can get a nice sample of some really great wine, a souvenir glass, dinner, and of course admission to the movie. The movie screens at 5.30 and 6.45 p.m. Sunday night. Correct. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Best of luck with the event. Kristen, back to you.